What kind of justice is this? It's a question on many people's mind from India to Iran in reaction to a Lebanese man sentenced to execution by beheading in the ultra-conservative Muslim kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The man, Ali Sibat, a TV psychic in his native Lebanon, is accused of practicing witchcraft while on pilgrimage to Saudi Arabia. According to the strict interpretation of Islamic law, a judge decided that this is a crime punishable by death. Lebanon's Justice Minister Ibrahim Najjar says witchcraft or sorcery doesn't even amount to a crime in Lebanon. It counts as a misdemeanor with a maximum sentence of two months. Minister Najjar told me on the phone that he asked Saudi Arabia to halt Sibat's execution and release him. He called the sentence, quote, disproportionate and, quote, counterproductive. The news of the imminent execution spread on the Internet through social media sites. A Facebook page was set up asking people to take action. It led to a small demonstration in front of the Saudi embassy in Beirut. What is unacceptable is that Saudi Arabia is asking to execute this Lebanese citizen who is accused of sorcery in Saudi Arabia, while we, our government, the Lebanese government, send the criminals, the Salafist criminals who are killing our soldiers and our officers two years ago, three years ago, to Saudi Arabia to be judged there. While on Twitter, Lebanese people were joined by many other nationals in denouncing what they called the extreme nature of the sentence. What age do we live in again? Does that mean we'd have to behead all horoscope columnists too? Asked one post, while another said, he shouldn't get a minute in jail. Saudi is crossing the line. They can live in the 1400s irrationality, but can't force us to. And yet another said Saudi Arabia shouldn't be blamed for the death sentence. Instead, the Lebanese politicians, who he described as Muppets, for not stepping in to save Sibat's life. Will the outrage translate into some kind of mercy for Ali Sibat? Recent history of Saudi Arabia has many cases where King Abdullah stepped in and saved people from what many consider to be unreasonable or unfair sentences. Meanwhile, the man who predicted the future for a living awaits uncertain what his future will hold. Mercy, sentence reversal or execution. Octavia Nasser, CNN, Atlanta.